Are you looking for a free alternative to Photoshop or just looking for a way to edit photos on the go? Well, if so, this video is for you. What is going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at a website called Photopea, which is a great alternative to Photoshop and just a way of getting your hands on some photo manipulation on the go. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. The website is going to be linked in the description down below and it is just photop.com, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A.com. And I've used this website for at least three or four years now and it is a great website and the reason why I like it is because they don't ask as far as over the top for money. They do show ads and as you can see on the right hand side of your screen, um, you can support the website for $20 and they'll hide ads for three months for you, which is really neat. The website also save information and stuff if you wanna create an account, also save fonts and stuff like that too, which is super awesome if you guys wanna do some uh, custom stuff like that. For me, this is not an alternative to Photoshop for me because I need the Photoshop suite, I need uh, Photoshop, After Effects, uh, Premiere, and stuff like that. So for me, this is kind of just not really something that I use every day on a day-to-day -day basis, but this very well could be something that you use day-to-day -day if you guys are just making uh, Photoshop uh, thumbnails, uh, social media stuff, and graphics and everything like that you could do that from here without spending any money which is awesome and that's the one reason why I want to cover it um, some other use cases for this is just you know somebody who needs like me that uses Photoshop but needs to edit a photo on the go this is kind of my go-to website and I do use it from time to time and whenever I'm at work and my my job I do not have Photoshop but sometimes I'll have people that'll ask me hey uh, you know graphic design can you do this for me I'll throw it in here really quick and I'll work on something and I'll spit it out very quick. So this is super awesome for that. Enough blabbering on my part. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So starting first, you can see you can open a new project, open stuff from your machine. Um, and then there's also some demo products or demo files. So we're gonna start with a new project and I'm just gonna show you guys how it's uh, set up here. So I can name my new project here. I'm just gonna leave it. You can set the pixel size. You can set it to a percentage inch, millimeters, stuff like that. You could set background, white or transparent. Um, they do have templates. I don't use them, um, but yeah, they're there. And this is kind of the neat thing about this website. So if you guys aren't used to making graphics, this is a good way of kind of knowing, I don't know if these are up to date to be honest, but these are a good way of knowing that your file dimensions are what they need to be. So if uh, Twitter's 1500 by 500, you'll go with this. So let's go ahead and click on this. And you can see they kind of give like a little template layout. And for some people, this is better than nothing. So you could definitely go with some of this and kind of make it your own. That's neat. Um, I don't use that because I like to do more in-depth stuff, but if you guys wanted to, you could definitely click on one of these and get started with that and easily just put in text of your name or something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click create here and create a document. So on the left-hand side, this is very, very similar to Photoshop. One thing I do have to tell you guys is if you are running this, um, it can lag uh, lag behind a little bit, and that's because it's doing a lot of work. Photoshop, um, in most aspects that people use, don't require a lot of processing power or RAM or stuff like that. But whenever you move that to a web-based, it, it does kind of slow down a little bit. And yes, I know you can do some very intensive stuff in Photoshop. I do from time to time, but I'm just saying on a general basis, most people aren't going to deal with that. So uh, let's go ahead and let's add some text. So I'm going to click this tool right here. And what I'm doing right now, guys, is just a simple demo of what you can do. So um, I'm just going to say, hello, YouTube and exclamation mark. And we're going to go ahead and just size this up and then we can center it here. And what I like to do with text is I like to drag the proportions all the way out to the end. And then I know it's centered now. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you can see pretty neat. Um, let's go ahead and say we want to add some color to the background. Let's just go ahead and drop a box right here in the background. It's just kind of a little crude way of doing it. And then we can take our text and we could do some layer styles. This is not a tutorial, by the way. I will have some tutorials and stuff probably come up later in the future, but by all means, this is just me showing off the product and stuff you can do with it. So you can see, we can change colors. We can make it look pretty neat. Um, let's go ahead and try importing an image. So we can open and place, 
and what we're going to do is we're going to place a picture of this computer that was used in one of my thumbnails so essentially you could do this and you could add the picture in and say we wanted to do something a little bit different we'll grab our text we'll kind of center this here to maybe around here and then actually let's go ahead and stretch that back out we could just grab all of this and turn that size down a little bit and we can also zoom out a lot of the shortcuts similar to Photoshop work here so that's really neat and we could put uh, Chad's PC repair you know if this is what I wanted to use this site for um, I could easily make stuff like this that is geared specifically towards um, making graphics for people if a guy has a PC repair shop I could make him graphics in here and I could send it to him and I can make money so you can make money you can make photo um, you know photos for like thumbnails and stuff like I mentioned and a lot of other things so let's go ahead and cancel that and you can see we can make a new project um, let's go ahead and open a demo project so this is a Photoshop document or a PSD as you can see here and what this allows us to do, basically what we were doing a second ago, but we are able to import documents with multiple layers and effects added to them. And we can manipulate those in however uh, fashion we want. So what we can do is essentially we can take this P and we can make this not a P anymore because we're gonna change this color. So we'll take the gradient in the middle and we're gonna change this to, let's change it to a blue and Let's grab the other end you change it to let, let's say a purple or a pink let's go for a bright pink a vibrant pink so as you can see here we have drastically changed this document and what you are able to do now is bring in templates that other people made in Photoshop and share on the web and you are going to be able to edit them too so this is just a demo document for you guys to play around with and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a document that I have on my machine and let me go ahead and find one of those really quick all right, so this is a great use case scenario of this. As you can see here, here are all the different layers that I used for whenever I created my outro card. And as you can see here, we have text for the previous video. We have a rectangle that's given that a blue color. We got the YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Snapchat. We've got all of these things listed here. And the whole purpose of this is so I can go back through and I can adjust these things very easily. I could go through and adjust text on these. I could remove these rectangles of where I have these. And what these are basically for is my video is going to go here and my little card is going to go there. So you can see that those are imported as well. And I even have some uh, reference images and stuff that I've kind of went off of and I've added effects over those. So it's really neat. It imports it just as it would be in Photoshop and it gives you those options of being able to edit templates that you get from people on YouTube that use Photoshop, but you may not be able to afford Photoshop or you're not near a machine with Photoshop on it at the time. And this is a great alternative for that. All right, guys, so that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys want to see other videos just like this, talking about free products and other stuff too, go ahead and hit that notification bell because they're going to be coming soon. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.